What's up everyone? Welcome to the Coral Reef Talk. My name is Joey Jones and today we're going to talk about the toadstool leather coral. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the toadstool leather coral, but before we get to that there's a lot of important things that go into reef keeping. One of the biggest things to keep in mind is your water quality. So instead of just keeping fish or just keeping coral or setting up a frag tank, you always have to look at your water quality. One of the two big components in our water that keep our corals going is calcium and alkalinity. I had the privilege of speaking with Julian Sprung, the president of Two Little Fishies at Reef of Palooza, and he's he spoke into this a little bit, so let's take a look at a clip from that video and see what Julian says about calcium and alkalinity in our reef tanks. Like for, for corals, if we're just talking about corals, calcium and alkalinity are key. That's really, really key. Um, that's why there are so many calcium and alkalinity supplemental products. Um, the corals very rapidly pull down the alkalinity there. Most people think of calcium, but you really need to be doing both in a balanced fashion. Um, so that, that would be the, the main focus, calcium and alkalinity. Our water's parameters are, is the most important thing when it comes to this hobby. Um, I, I hear it often and I say it myself, we're not keeping fish or coral, we're keeping water. If you can keep your water pristine, and keep the calcium, the alkalinity levels, your magnesium levels, all of that in line, your fish are gonna do great and your corals are gonna thrive. So without further ado, here's my advice and my experience with keeping the toadstool leather coral. Toadstool leather coral, it is an easy, uh, peaceful coral to keep in your reef tanks, the one that I have in my tank I've had for about two and a half years now. It started out about um, the size of a quarter and now it's grown to um, well over a dinner plate size. Uh, you can keep this coral in medium water flow um, in moderate to high lighting. You can place it pretty much all over the place in your tank from um, low on the sand bed to middle of the rock work. Mine is about middle of the tank it really benefits from lighting so it has those and Theli living inside of it a symbiotic relationship there um, so you don't really have to feed this coral you just let uh, your light cycle do the work for you and you, it's very interesting how this coral grows in your tank you'll see it kind of scab over and it sheds itself off and as it sheds that skin or that layer of tissue away um, it expands and grows in your tank and before you know it you'll have uh, a nice frag that you bought that was a quarter size turn into uh, the size of a dinner plate if, if not larger I hope this information is helpful and if you decide to pick up a, a leather coral um, great decision it's a nice beginner piece and thank you very much for checking out this video. There will be more to come next Friday. Um, so please hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time on the Coral Reef Talk.